Hello, my friends. In this video, let's talk about how your mindset, yes, the way you think your mindset is an integral part in the success or failure or right. lack of success right. in your own art career. Don't go anywhere because this video is going to help you out to be more successful as an artist. My name is Sergio Gomez. I'm an artist, curator, gallery owner, author, and co-founder of the Art Next Level program. And my goal with this channel is to make marketing and art business easy so that you can grow your art career, find new opportunities, sell more art, and spend more time creating in the studio. So if you like that, make sure you click on the subscribe button and click on the little bell so that you receive notifications of our future videos. Welcome, my friends. Welcome back. Super happy to be here. And of course, my guest for today is none other than my wife, Dr. Yanina Gomez. How are Hi, you? Hi, everyone. I'm good. How are you? I am doing great. I want to really share with our friends here this idea of how our mind is such an integral and important part in the success of our career or the lack of success that we may experience mm -hmm. in our art career. Yeah. So, you know, definitely that's a video that you want to watch all the way to the end because I believe if you watch it and if you listen carefully to what the doctor has to say <laughs> here, uh, will help us to become more successful in our career. So uh, what do you think of that topic? Does that make you excited? Yeah, definitely, because the whole idea is that it's what you put in your head is going to come up, right? The mm. more you convince yourself on something, the more likely you will either do or avoid to do, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so it's the whole idea of always thinking, okay, am I going to be, am I seeing myself as a successful person or I'm seeing myself as, bad you know person with bad luck that things don't go your way or or things are not meant yeah. for you yeah. Yeah. right I, I love that yeah mm -hmm. i remember for example one of maybe one of the ways to get started here in this short conversation is like you know for a long time you know when i started my career and uh, we were already married you know both of us met some 26 years ago <laughs> perhaps uh, i remember that thinking about this idea of okay i'm an emerging artist right mm -hmm. And for many years, I called myself an emerging artist. And, and also, that brought in my own head, like, you know, for some reason, I was a lower mm -hmm. artist because mm -hmm. I was emerging artist. And I had to, at some point, think to myself, okay, you know, for how long am I going to be? How long are you going to be emerging? <laughs> emerging, right? <laughs> does it take a whole lifetime? Yeah. And perhaps it does. But yeah. but regardless of the word, the word is, is just a word, but mm -hmm. it's, it's what it it produced in my mind, right, right. which I felt that because I was an emerging artist, I was less of an artist than perhaps other artists. Yeah, you tend to, see what happens is that we tend to either uh, associate labels mm -hmm. on words and we tend to identify with words. Mm -hmm. And when you identify with a word or when you label yourself as whatever it is, in your case, you said emerging, emerging. artist, mm -hmm. you can be, you can also uh, identify yourself as a as a artist that has no luck or as a, mm -hmm. as a mediocre artist or as a starving artist. Starving artist. <laughs> Thank you. That's the way I was looking at it for. Or you can also identify yourself as a successful artist, as a yeah. uh, proactive artist. So whatever label you put on yourself, you're going to start behaving that way okay. because you tend to own it, right? Mm -hmm. And that's why we have to be very, very careful about how we call ourselves in the mornings when we get up in the morning and we're looking at ourselves in the mirror We are, and you're getting ready to go to your studio. What kind of words are, are coming out of your mouth that are projecting what's going on inside but the thing is that those words are bouncing back and what kind of results you're getting when those words bounce back at you mm -hmm. what kind of feelings you're experiencing what kind of ideas mm -hmm. you are believing what kinds of uh, goals you're setting for yourself based on that label that you have put on yourself mm, i love that and it's not that there's nothing wrong with the word emerging because I think we all are, you know, emerging you artists when we start, right? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's, uh, but, that's the beginning. That's exactly. the onset, right? Yes. But yeah. it's more like kind of what happens in our mind, right? Mm -hmm. when, when we associate the word, which is a really beautiful word, but maybe with something negative, right? right? right. Which in this case, mm -hmm. I was starting to doing so uh, because, uh, I don't know, I, I felt like I wasn't ready. I wasn't up to it. And I love something that you said about, you know, how we start our day, you know, super important, the words that we say ourselves in, in the mirror or, you know, in, in the morning. Uh, you are a big proponent of uh, morning affirmations, mm -hmm. you, you know. Tell us a little bit about that because I know you have talked about this plenty of with our members inside our Next Level Coaching Program. But here for the friends who may be watching here in YouTube or also to the podcast, Tell us a little bit why those uh, affirmations are super important 
for us as individuals? How, mm -hmm. And more importantly, how can they help us in our success as artists? Yeah, the, the whole uh, purpose of affirmations is uh, to rewire your brain, right? Rewired? To rewire rewired. your okay. brain. Mm -hmm. And it's about telling yourself truths about yourself that mm -hmm. might not be happening at the moment, but that's what you want for yourself. Mm -hmm. And uh, my, you might not believe in it right now because mm -hmm. of uh, circumstances that are under your control or out of your control, regardless what it is, you're not experiencing that now, but mm -hmm. that's where you want to be. Mm -hmm. So it's again, it's the whole idea of telling yourself where you want to be so that your brain starts processing it that way and your body starts acting upon it, mm -hmm. right? Uh, for example, uh, you might be an emerging artist who, are, who is interested in going from emerging into something greater, uh, you know, since we're talking about emerging yeah. artists. And you might start feeling, like you said, a little insecure because you're just starting your art career. You don't know much about show, uh, showing your artwork. You don't know much about marketing. You might not know much about how to sell your art. So what happens is here, you, there's two ways of seeing that. Uh, one way is to focus on that the things that you don't know how to do or mm -hmm. you don't know how they are. That's one side of the coin. And the other side of the coin is like, well, I don't know how to do that. Therefore, I need to prepare myself and find ways to get there. Mm -hmm. So it's, in your head, you're going to decide whether you're going to be focusing on what you do not know or you're going to be focusing on what you can do to get there. Uh, so that, that's how, like sometimes, you know, I, I have artists that say, well, my art is not good enough. Uh, I, I, I don't have much to say yet. Mm -hmm. um, so those are negative things that you're telling yourself, neg negative words that do, you are telling yourself. You're like and, owning and that. And owning that. That's and again, you're labeling yeah. yourself as social and you're going to start acting upon that. So the whole thing about affirmations is to rewire your brain to think Otherwise, that mm -hmm. no, maybe this, this is where you are now, but that's not where you want to continue to be. So you come up with these affirmations, which basically are, they're all written in present tense. And you write there where you want to be, where you, what you want to do, how you want to see yourself. And what you do is like every day, every morning, it's better in the morning because mm -hmm. we're kind of fresh from uh, a night uh, rest. Every morning, you tell yourself where you want to be. And... Mm -hmm. Now you're not there, but the more you train your brain to think that way, eventually, just like any habit, you are going to own it. And eventually, mm -hmm. you're not just going to say it, but you're going to own it and you're going to start acting just as you are writing in there. You know, So you're going to own it in a way that you act upon it and you take action. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's just a, way, the, a whole idea of telling yourself where you want to be and teaching your brain that that's where you want to be. Therefore, you're going to get there. Mm -hmm. I love that, and mm -hmm. I think this particular uh, idea, you know, of the affirmation, something that I learned from you for sure, and I started to apply it into my life. It was something that we included in the book that we wrote, "Crushing Self Sabotage," which you gotta get it if you haven't yeah. gotten it yet. Start to crush self sabotage and live fully. Exactly, yeah. which you will find it in the description. You'll find a link here, or also you can just find it, Google it, or in Amazon, and of course you can get it as a Kindle version or if you rather have an actual book. But anyway, besides the book, um, what I wanted to talk about is how also, you know, I learned from you this idea, and last year, actually, I came up with a very simple mini phrase affirmation mm -hmm. that I started to share with everyone, artists uh, everywhere, uh, which is, I'm an artist on a mission. That mm -hmm. in itself is an affirmation, yeah, right? it is. As um, simple as that. It doesn't have to be yeah. complicated. Exactly. You know, it can be a two, three, a three-word sentence. Mm -hmm. Artist animation. I am an artist animation is a perfect example of a short affirmation. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah, and I say that to myself every morning. I'm an artist on a mission, and then that 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 was my mission today, right? What what makes me excited today? What I want to do today, and that's kind of like a message that I've been ex explaining with many artists or sharing with many artists, and it's really beautiful because like. You know, let's say I go to an opening and an artist who's familiar with my content, like, hey, Sergio, I'm an artist on a mission. Sometimes they whisper it to me mm -hmm. or they or they say it to me in some way. And that is exciting, right? Because mm -hmm. we are adopting a mindset right, that right. we say, I'm an artist on a mission. I may not always be super clear on what my mission yeah, is or what is, it's you know, a, what it's humans. A it's, it's a process. It's a process, process. of uh, the discovering and figuring mm -hmm. things out. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. However, just saying I'm an artist on a mission, I'm already living into mm -hmm. that truth right, right that i want right. to live by that i want to be part of and that is 
So I think that's something that's mm -hmm. very exciting to me. And uh, that's a perfect way in which that simple affirmation can start us to feel more successful. Mm -hmm. And when we feel more successful, you know, we're going to show up with a different face right. in our, to right. our audience. You know, the next time the collector comes to your studio, the next time you go to a gallery, the next time you talk to a curator, you know, you don't feel like, oh, you know, like I said earlier, you know, mm -hmm. I'm this less artist. No, I'm an artist on a mission, right? And uh, what I do is important. And, yeah. I'm, and I'm here to do what, what I believe is the right thing to do in this world. Yeah. And it goes back to how you talk to yourself. Exactly. You know, if you tell yourself every morning, well, you know, I'm, uh, my art is weak, it's not good enough. When you come into the studio, what is going to be your attitude mm -hmm. towards your art making, whatever right. the form of art you make, versus if you say, okay, what kind of message I want to convey through my art mm -hmm. today? Right. You know? Or like the one you said too, which is very true, like, oh, you know, I don't know how to talk about my art, things mm -hmm. like that, right? Mm -hmm. You are using almost that as an excuse right. to, exactly. to get better and learn how to do it by watching more of my videos. <laughs> I, I have videos specifically on that, you know, that yeah. can help you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, for so, sure. So sometimes I think that affirmation can help us to get unstuck, would you yeah. say? Mm -hmm. I, I ground it. To, uh, oh, ground you it. Know, okay. it, both of them. It's a whole idea of like, okay, you have a good idea where you want to be you're not there yet but you remember you remind you affirmations is just basically a reminder a you know it's just a fancy word for a reminder so you remind yourself every day where you want to be and because you repeat it again and again and again it, it goes from being a sentence a random sentence into a belief mm -hmm. and that's what we want like a flag that's right, what that we I want carry. we mm -hmm. want to make it go from being a simple desire or hope or wish mm -hmm. into an actual belief that is part of your values and your belief system. Mm -hmm. That's why you have to, like any habit, I mean, you know, if you know about habits, uh, if you want to start adopting a new healthy habit, it's going to take you a while, especially when you're not used to it. You know, say that you want to work out four times a week. Well, guess what? When you start working out, your body's going to, you mm -hmm. know, re be upset about it and yeah. say, hey, this is too much. But if you consistently keep going and going and going, eventually your body hopefully will get used to that kind of routine so it, it or if you want to change a bad habit into a healthier habit it's going to take a while because your body's going to ask for that bad habit because that's what your body is used to right. so that's why you have to change in order for you to change that you have to go above and beyond and be intentional about it and, uh, and do it again and again until it becomes a part of you i love that i love mm -hmm. that that's super good now so that in itself you know, if we were to end the video right here, you will already have some tools that oh, can... Oh, have more? No, yeah, have one more. That's super good. You know, you already have tools right here that you could, you know, get out and go into the world and, and feel better, right? And, and feel more successful and, and show up with more success just because of those affirmations. But I want to go a step further. I want to talk about this other concept, idea that I've been working with, uh, you know, for quite a while. Um, and uh, it's this, this concept of idea of we can all visualize this, this huge gap, right? Between, between you and me, there's a gap, right? The, the farther mm -hmm. I go, the bigger the gap, the closer, you know, the closer the gap. And I believe that all of us as individuals, but specifically here talking to artists, there's, a, there's already a gap between where we are right now, where I am as an artist, and where I would like to be, let's say, six months from now, a year from now, five years from now. Mm -hmm. For example, I would like to do maybe a bigger body of work, or I want to sell more art, or I would like to have gallery representation, or maybe work with more galleries, or have a museum show, etc. You know, you mm -hmm. name it, fill in the blank. So there's a gap between us and that, or, th or those things which we are looking for. And I feel that a lot of times, and I've seen this, you know, because we coach so many artists inside the program, mm -hmm. that a lot of artists have um, what I would call a a mindset of uh, um, scarcity. Yeah, a mindset of scarcity, right? A mindset of scarcity, which tells you, well, you don't have enough, right? Or I don't have enough to close the gap. To close the gap, mm -hmm. I don't have maybe connections. I don't have good opportunities. I'm not in a big city. Mm -hmm. I'm not tall enough. I'm not pretty enough. You know, mm -hmm. to make amazing. Uh, real yes. so that we can get uh, you know thousands of views you know I don't have a good voice I don't know how to write you know I don't have connections etc the list goes on and on mm -hmm. and on right so this is a mindset of scarcity always thinking that there's not enough right mm -hmm. there's not mm -hmm. enough of something in order to cross that gap and unfortunately many artists live there and 
they, uh, mm-hmm. you know, they, they, they swing go back and forth in this gap and never really are able to get out of it, right? Versus when you shift, you do a mindset shift, mm-hmm. and, and maybe you can help us with this, if this makes sense, right? Mm-hmm. And, and what's the science behind this? You know, when you do a, a mindset shift where you are not looking at the gap as, again, with a scarcity mentality, but rather with an abundant mentality to say, actually, there's a lot. You know, actually, there's a lot on my side. You know, look at who you are as an artist, mm-hmm. the beautiful art you make, the ideas. You know, the fact that you're an artist, that in itself is a win. You know, mm-hmm. it's something mm-hmm. exciting to mm-hmm. something to be excited for, right? Where you are in the world right now, also looking at even when you may feel that nothing is good where you're at, there are some positive things, you know, mm-hmm. when you start looking at it with abundant mentality. And what you already have, you know, yes, you may not have, you know, 50,000 followers, but maybe you have... 20, and those 20 do care for you, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, looking and leveraging what we already actually have and who we are, you know, uh, with abundance rather than the scarcity. And I feel that in my own art career, I think was one of the key things that make me a positive person, you know, people say, so you're very positive. Well, I I think I'm positive because of that, because I have learned to shift my mindset to, a place of abundance you know mm-hmm. there's plenty there's more there's, there's, there's so much we can get and i think when we are able to do that you know the those gaps we start to become closer and closer mm-hmm. and closer mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. the question for me it does that make sense you know it totally makes as a psychologist sense. Tell us a yeah, about definitely makes sense. Idea. you know we can talk about this for a long time but at uh, least to make a long story short yes you know if you think about it this way when you're thinking that everything is there's scarcity out there mm-hmm. um it, and that's the message you're telling yourself it goes mm-hmm. back to the words you, you tell yourself that's the message you tell yourself when, when you're thinking about scarcity what type of emotions are associated with that uh, defeat, fear, mm-hmm. sadness, mm-hmm. Um, negativity, great mm-hmm. days. Uh, there's not, there's not hope. And you also uh, feel like resentment, like oh, you, you know, that person has the, the good jealousy, looks, the good studio, jealousy. I mean, the list goes on, and there, none of them are positive. And mm-hmm. when you surround yourself with that kind of those kinds of emotions, mm-hmm. then the, you have no, not much energy left to be able to identify opportunities when they are out there. Okay. And the the opposite goes with when you're thinking about abundance, when mm-hmm. you think about abund- abundance, what kinds of emotions come mm-hmm. and you feel excited, looking full. forward, full, sure. alert. Yeah. You feel alert. When you are thinking about scarcity, there's no, you know, it's, it's tiresome. You're tired. You're, you're you know, you're in, in a bad mood. Um, you fear. So, uh, all those things are really consuming you. But when you're thinking about abundance and you're thinking about you, you're more alert, you want more and you're looking, you're in that looking uh, perspective mm-hmm. versus a bun- uh, a scarcity you're not uh, mm-hmm. because you think that there's not much out there so you are not even trying or you or you might be trying but in a very negative attitude and you're missing out opportunities mm-hmm. uh, so a- abundance brings the best of you mm-hmm. and even when it's not there there's always the hope okay maybe i don't have it now but what can i do to get there mm-hmm. what can i do to create my own opportunities you have that mm-hmm. energy to even think about beyond what you see beyond beyond that what is in front of you and, mm-hmm. and to the point of creating your own opportunities mm-hmm. and, and and the mindset is so powerful i mean you can have yeah, we talk about um, the workshop that you just did over the weekend and mm-hmm. how a couple of uh, you, uh, there were some artists who received your message in one way, in and one in a, in a scarcity mindset, and they were. Uh, others they, were, there were others who receive it in a more abundant, exactly. the same message, the same message. Were, so, was totally right. given. And some of people in the audience thought, oh, there's no hope for me as an artist. Galleries are not taking people. And you were sharing that with me, you know, that they were mm-hmm. saying comments like that. Uh, but then you saw other artists that were like, oh, my goodness, there are all these opportunities out there that are there for me, but that I have to create or I have to create them so I can get to what I want. Same message, mm-hmm. different mentalities. They receive it differently. Mm-hmm. And and uh, at the end of the day, our question to you is like, what kind of mentality? you're willing to adopt mm-hmm. do you want to continue with the scarcity mentality that is only 
taking you deeper in the hole, uh, feeling hopeless, feeling frustrated, affecting your emotional uh, wellness to the mm -hmm. point of possibly experiencing some mental health issues. And keep, if you keep lingering on that type of mentality that is only putting you down versus the, making a decision like, you know what, enough is enough. Mm -hmm. you, and I, got, I have to believe that there is much out there. Mm -hmm. I have to believe that there is hope for me. I have to believe that there are opportunities for me. But they're not going to just land on your right. lap. Right. You have to take care of You have to take action. And that is something that I've been learning throughout the years. Because I'm going to be honest, there was a point in my life that I had that scarcity men mentality uh, because of you know many reasons uh, back in the days. But I had to make a decision. Right. And here we are today. Exactly. You know, it's it's a decision you have to make. Yeah. What kind of life you want to live? That you want to live that uh, gloomy life for the rest of your life, thinking that there's not good enough and there's not enough, and and I, I'm, I'm not going to get anywhere. Or you're going to decide, you know what? Enough is enough of put and having this uh, pity party. I need to take care of this. I need to take action because, like I said, if you don't move, you don't take action. Things are not going to mm -hmm. uh, work for you. I love it. And we see that again and again in our program, you know, when I just shared, you know, kind of like with positivity, the things that are looking for and the things that are, uh, you know, working towards. And then, you know, months later, you'll see it's how they result. report success, you know, mm -hmm. they report successes mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. things that they have achieved just because that mindset shift. Yeah. Right. So and you, and you also mm -hmm. see the other, the, the opposite, quite a right. few artists. Just, just a few that join the program, but then they see all the work that needs to be done in order for them to go from, from point A to point B, to and the they're gap. like, mm -hmm. uh, no, thank you, and, and stop. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you and, know? and they, and, they and continue they, to get stuck and mm -hmm. living in that In that rut. cycle. Mm -hmm. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Yes. Now, I love that. So, again, you have now two different things that you can work on you know, today. Start with affirmations and then start with that mindset shift. One way to, you can start three things. Make three columns on a piece of paper. Think about who I, who I am, you know, as an artist, you know, who I am. That Make a list of the positive things that uh, who you are, the way you are, what you create and so on. Uh, the second one, where are you in the world? You know, look at where you're at, list the positive things that are around you. There has to be positive things around you as well. Uh, and then the third thing also, uh, what you create, what you make. You know, think about the beautiful things that you create in the studio. Make a list of the positive things. And there you go. You got there right there, three things that you can use as leverage. And my friend, so this is a topic that I, I've been really working hard on as well. I have a talk that's called Closing the Gap, mm -hmm. which I am very excited to be doing live, that whole talk, which also is a journey through my career, how I shifted my mindset into this uh, from scarcity to abundance. It's called Closing the Gap. And that talk, I'm going to be doing it live, totally free here in the Miami, Fort Lauderdale area with our good friends from Choose 954, great organization, amazing things that they are uh, doing all the time. And uh, so they invited me to be part of this thing called Creative Send Talks, which mm -hmm. is going to be April 12th in the morning. I know it's a morning thing. Early morning. Early morning. It's a Friday, April 12th, totally free, which you can join if you are here in the Chicago, I mean, not Chicago, in the Miami, <laughs> Fort Lauderdale area, and you can join us. But here's the good part. At what you time know, it's going to be? I believe it's at 8.39, 8.30. something like that, <laughs> but so it's early, so, but it's good, it's good. Everyone that comes live, there's going to be a free gift, so if you are here, Catacomb, it's going to be something free for you, but for also, everyone? everyone that comes live, yeah. Oh, wow. For now. Um, we didn't talk about this. Yes, That's even you're going to get something free. <laughs> it's, it's a surprise, you don't even know what it's going to be, but anyway, um. I was going to say, okay, so if you're not able to come in live, right, to the event, then what you can do is make sure under this video or you listen to the podcast, there's going to be a link where you can go there and also put your name and email, sign up to my email list, the are next level. And as soon as our good friends from Choose Night 54 Creative uh, Send release the video uh, recording, I'm going to email it to everybody so you guys get to watch it as well. And, um, you know, really dive deep into a framework that I have created to close that gap. I actually have created a four-step framework, super easy to remember, you know, to visualize how to close the gap from where we are now and where we want to be in the mm -hmm. future. Sounds good. So, hope to see you there, my friend. Thank you, Dr. Ina, for joining me again. It's always a pleasure to have you here in the show and, um, you know, 
uh, please join us inside the next level program. If you want to hear more Dr. Ina Gomez, you know, see um, the things that she's doing, always amazing things for our program too. And also the Q and A's that she has every month. So you Once can ask month. your own yes. questions are relating to your mindset and wellness as well. So have a good day, my friend. And remember, you're an artist on that mission. Goodbye. But wait, before you leave this video, if you are an artist who wants to grow your art career and wants to achieve greater success, make sure you check out the Art Next Level program. You will find a link under this video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the next video that we have recommended just for you.